Hi there, here's another uh, Ubuntu how-to video by Dave Tromp and um, today I'm gonna show how you can um, convert video to audio file um, but do it in a command line way so it can be bulk process so you can have multiple videos that you can convert to audio in one go. Um, this was a question that was asked by one of the viewers, Pedro. Thanks for that. And um, I think it was an interesting question. So um, I made a little script that uh, does it. I will show you first and then I, we will go through the script um, to explain it. Um, so it's a, it's a Python script and it uses FFmpeg. So first I will show it. Um, so here we have uh, the example again um, of my uh, video <coughs> showing me showing you uh, my uh, new Ubuntu uh, Dell laptop. And here I have a script. Uh, so if we execute this script, we are here at the in the same folder. Let me show you. So here we have the file, the MP3 file, and here we have the script. So if I run Python and then ball convert it will uh, read in all the mp4 files from uh, from the current folder and will output uh, the file uh, but then with an mp3 um, extension so press enter there it goes it will process it using fmpeg it will take uh, a little bit a few seconds and almost done I think yes there we go so if we take a look in the folder there you go it created an atom uh, well it, it created the file called atom on Dell Ubuntu um, mp3 so um, let me show you that it's actually an mp3 file that plays I'll open it with the VLC player that I showed in uh, another video. Hi there. Um, so as you can see, this is me talking without the video. So I'll close it out. So how did I uh, make this script? Well, first of all, um, you need Python, which is uh, by default installed uh, on Ubuntu, so you don't have to install it uh, anymore. But um, you can also run this script uh, on a Windows computer uh, with FFmpeg installed uh, or on a Mac OS X computer. Um, so I'll show you where to get Python. You go to python.org and then go to download and then you can download it for Windows, Mac OS X, other platforms. Uh, you can best, well, this script is made for Python 2.7 so you will click this download and then follow your procedure for installing. Uh, again, it's not necessary to do this on Ubuntu. Besides Python, this script also uses FFmpeg, um, which um, can be installed on most Ubuntu versions uh, by doing simply sudo apt-get install FFmpeg. But in the long-term version that I am running, which is 14.04, uh, .04, um, it's not in the standard uh, official Ubuntu repositories. So I need to get it uh, from somewhere else. Um, and that is best found by going to fvmpeg.org, uh, where you can also download um, FFmpeg for Windows or for um, Mac OS X. So we check the downloads and you can also of course get the source code if you're interested. Um, so I will select uh, Linux and then check here for Ubuntu. Um, as you can see official packages are available for these versions of Ubuntu uh, so you can install them from the uh, apt-get repositories um, but mine is trusty so I have to get it from a PPA um, it's uh, outside of, of uh, repository um, 
so I already checked where it is so if you click through here you will come to this page at launchpad and someone packaged um, it so what you want to select is um, this line here you have to scroll a little bit down and then you come uh, it, it won't be visible you have to click here the technical details about this PPA if you click it and then you select this line you can just copy it like this and then you will have to um, add this line to the uh, available repositories uh, for your system and you can do that by going to the software center Ubuntu software center there are different ways to do it but this is uh, one way um, and then we go to its opening let me see software sources under edit so we open the software sources and then we won't add it to Ubuntu software but to the other software and then we click add and we paste in the um, the line we just copied and then we do add source I already did this to check if the script is working correctly on my machine um, so I'm not going to do it again I'm going to click ca cancel but if you do this it will edit and if you close then um, it will um, get um, all the sources from the repository and then you can install it uh, by doing sudo apt get um, install ffmpeg and then it will say that uh, the repositories are not trusted and if you uh, if you are okay with that and yes you are okay because you just added this uh, source so you know where it's coming from um, so let's see I still have it so you will do this command down here you will do sudo at the bottom of the screen sudo apt get install ffmpeg I can do it again but it will say it's already installed um, well just for kicks yeah already news version so I already have the installed um, also what you want to do is you want to um, check if you have um, mp3 codec installed um, you can uh, check all the codecs by doing ffmpeg and then codecs dash codecs it will give you a long list of all the codecs available you have to see if the uh, if there's an mp3 or your favorite uh, codec that you want to uh, convert to uh, is available um, you can look all this stuff up on on the man pages of ffmpeg or go to the website um, I will not go into that um, so let's look at the script now um, the script is uh, fairly simple let me see uh, here it is I'm using my favorite uh, editor code editor uh, Atom of which I also made a video on how to install it on uh, Ubuntu um, so first we have to import um, the operating system library which will allow the use of all kinds of methods um, that have to do with the operating system like the file system finding files so um, what I usually do is I create a, a main method or main function where I put every uh, so I can uh, find the start um, easily because if this code becomes really long it's uh, difficult to find um, so I'll try to explain quickly what it does here it finds the um, files all the files that are in the current folder where this code is run from uh, then it will loop through all the files oh. it will loop through all the files and um, it will see if it has an mp4 extension which is done here then it will say processing this file and it will call another function that I put separately 
just for uh, uh, convenience um, so here it will take in the process function it will take the, the file name and it will map it to the in file variable and it will create an out file which is just the same um, file name only with mp3 as an extension and then here we create a variable which is basically just a string uh, which uh, contains the ffmpeg um, ffmpeg command line uh, of the ffmpeg command so uh, ffmpeg i for input and then here uh, the in file um, and then here the format for the out file which is always put on the end um, these other things this is the uh, audio rate and this is the bit rate um, that you can set for the mp3 um, and then there's a function it's a very old function in uh, Python it's most people say it's not recommended to use it but it's still there and it works just fine uh, it's uh, p open which so os.popen will open any um, command uh, from Python um, so if you have multiple files it will loop through the files here so you can have hundreds of files it will just go through the files one by one if it's an mp4 file it will run this process which takes the mp4 file as an input and output it as, as an uh, mp3 file and it continues doing so until there are no more mp4 files so that's uh, basically the code i will paste it um, below uh, in the comments or maybe i'll put a link to a gist on github and um, you can get it from there so i hope um, it's useful to you and uh, i hope you like this video if you do give a thumbs up and um, let me know if there's anything else that uh, you like to know how I do stuff um, with my Ubuntu system. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.